Good morning, friends, and welcome to in your sixth standard math lecture. So, see, as you know, we now already started the second lesson. Okay, and now today we are going to continue our next point. The second lesson, tell me. And in our last lecture, we have point prime factors. How we are going to find out the prime factors of any given number and the prime factorization way. Okay. So depending on that prime factorization method, we have our today's point, and it is the prime factorization using a factor three. You see. Factorization using factorization. Okay, so you have only prime factorization, but now what is the factor? So here for that, I am going to take for example, you have to find out the factors of 36. Okay, from factors of 36 by using factor 3. So, they have given you a point of view. They have given you one factor. Okay, and here it is a zero. So, the factors that are given to you, if you just do the multiplication of the two factors, you will get the given number. So, 9, so 9 goes up to 36. The required factor is But this is not your complete factor. Why? Because we have given the factor B, but it is a prime factor. And if you check the numbers of the factor, minus 4, those are not the prime number. So that means it includes the immediate that we have to complete that factorization, okay, after the original matrix. So now, you have to find out the factors of 9, 3. If you are just checking the factors of 9, then you will get 3, 3, 1, 9. Okay, the factors of 9 are so 1, 3, and 9. So, 1 multiplied by 9. Okay, no. So, 3, 3, are, and you just observe that number. Then these are the three is the prime number. Okay. Afterwards, we have the four. So you have to find out the factors of four also. And the factors of four are one, two, four. So here two rules are two. If you have one is two factors, two is also a prime number. So here we are factor 3 is completed and this being the complete factor 3 and this is a complete prime factorization by using factor 3. And you know prime factorization is nothing but the okay the product. Okay you can represent that factorization in this way is multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Okay and that already we learned in our last lecture. Here are some examples I have given to you, and now we are just solving it. See, some kind of the examples are so you put on this. The activity based questions are there in the advance. So, that time, such type of the factorization P are most important, and such type of the examples are there. So, here the examples are 28, are 45, and 150. So, first, 28. Five. I am going to mention See, already I have See, for the point here, you have 
and here is the empty space. Now for the public file. They have mentioned only the blocks, but afterwards they are given you by the Okay, like this. That means this number has further two factors. Okay, and the last. Okay. Now here. Now we are going to start from the first page number 20. So here we will give you the four. So four, seven, twenty-eight. And then four and for the two factors, two, two is a four, and you have to select. 2, 2, and 7 because 7 is parallel to the prime number which doesn't have any further factors. So that's when you take it can be present like this here. Here, 45. So, line is the 45 and 3 is the 9. That's why I'm going to write So you have 45. If you represent, check this here. So, students get confused how I am going to find out this fact. So, for that, I am going to give you one hint. This factor is multiplied with each other, they are going to give your actual number. But if you have this number and one factor is the prior of the one, how we have to do the division? Okay, 150. Is divided by one factor and five. Okay, whatever the first one, that is the next factor. So, twenty-five, six is one fifty, and that is the next factor. Such a so you can find out the factors. Okay, now twenty-five, five, five is the, and here two is the. Okay. Now we have a just for the end this form. Now one of two. Five minus two three we can go to the sequence. Two three five. Now I told you at the last time how we can check your prime factorization if it is correct or not. So two two is a four, four seven is a twenty-eight. Yes, that means we are that. Factors are correct. Now, 6 is a 9, 9 5 is a 45, that means these factors are also correct and all numbers are prime numbers. Here, the first step 2, 3, 5, 5, all numbers are prime numbers. Now, check it 6 is a 6, 6 is a 9, 35 is a 150. Yes, these factors are also correct. On the second side, I will give you 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, so today we are going to check the first product, please. Okay. Since already we have done that, okay, a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by c. Okay. So now here today we are going to stop with this point, prime factorization and prime factorization by factor p. Okay. Afterwards, in your next lecture, we are just going to start a new point and the divisibility test. Okay, so we will stop here.